guys, Master Piss here, and in this video, I'm going to be running through the Breath of Syndragosa spec. Now, this is mainly a PvP spec because it's extremely bursty, but it can be viable for PvE. Okay, so we're going to start with talents. So, in your 56 tree, you want to take Murderous Efficiency. Now, Murderous Efficiency is going to give you a 50% chance on Obliterate to refund a rune. The more runes you have, the more rune power you're going to get. In 57, same principle, Horn of Winter. It's going to give you 2 runes and 10 runic power every 30 seconds. It's going to fit in really nicely in your rotation for Breath of Syndragosa. So this is your option. Now 58, Hungering Rune Weapon. Now this is going to change your Empower Rune Weapon to give you 8 runes and 40 runic power over 12 seconds. So instead of getting 6 runes and 25 runic power, you're going to get 8 and 40. So this is the option here. Again with 60 and 75, they're a utility tree, so it, again it doesn't really matter for your DPS. Um, Winter is coming for the stuns, White Walker for the, the all-round damage reduction, but you can also take Volatile Shielding. In your 90, you've got Runic Actuation. Uh, it's runic power every auto attack, no question asks on this one. And in your 100 tree, it's a Breath of Syndragosa spec, so taking Breath of Syndragosa is your only option. So with stats, I've run a couple of sims and it seems the best DPS is still coming from the 25% crit equal to 20% haste, then you want 8% versatility, then 25% haste, and then into mastery. So again, this seems where I'm getting the best DPS. I could be wrong, I could be right. Uh, if you know better, please in the comment section tell me. You want to have two phases for your uh, Breath of Syndragosa spec. So the first phase is when Breath is actually up. That's when you want to be just bursting all the runes on Obliterate you can to keep your Breath going. You don't want to be using Frost Strike at all. You just want all your runic power to be dumped in the breath. The second phase is when breath isn't up and you go, generally go back to a normal rotation of just obliterate, rhyme procs, killing machines, frost strikes. Okay, so I'll do a demonstration of a uh, breath rotation. Now, as always, you want to be using your pre -pop. So pre -pop. And same general idea with your rotation as in the build-up. So once you're at about this stage, you've got that much runic power, you want to wait for that one rune to come up. Um, a little bit much there, and here we go. So, and it, again, it's just smashing. So no, try not to go over your runic power, because you know you're going to get 20 from an obliterate. So just keep going like this. If you happen to be a Blood Elf, Arcane Torrent comes in real handy, um, just to get a sneaky rune in. Now, I'm going to need to Howling Winter after this. So, Horn of Winter there. And now I'm going to need to use Hungry Rune Weapon. Because I ran out. And then, it, with Hungry Rune Weapon, you're getting so many runes and so much runic power, you just want to continuously spam Obliterate. Because um, you just the rune regeneration is huge. And it's down, so back to normal. Back to the slow pace. Horn of Winter is going to be up soon, so that's a good little kicker again. Remember I said twice it'd be good for you. And it's just like that. You just keep going. If you can get to about a 50, 60 um, second a, a breath, that's a good breath. So, and now it's down. Simple. And that's a breath of Syndragosa. As always guys, thanks for watching. Um, any discussions, please, in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I've got more. I'm going to make more. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and Master Piss, out.